BBC Radio Bristol from 5K to 25K in six months. For us, it was about changing our outlook and planning. Here's how we've done it. It started with a little girl from Nailsey who made the nation's hearts melt. Emma, who's three, made this 999 call after her pregnant mum fell down the stairs. Ambulance service, tell me exactly what's happened. Hello? Mummy fell down the stairs. Your mummy fell down the stairs? I have got a baby. Sorry, has she got a baby? Yeah. Well, what's your name? Emma. Emma, how old are you, Emma? Three. You're three? How old is mummy, how old's the baby? In mummy's tummy. The baby's in mummy's tummy. Okay, sweetie. All right, my darling, that's okay. Uh, how big is mummy's tummy, Emma? Is she got big? Is the baby big in mummy's tummy? It's very big. Oh, that's just you're, you're going to be a big sister, are you? Yes, coming at Christmas. The baby's coming at Christmas. Okay. Tell mummy then to stay really still and tell her that the ambulance is coming. You are such a clever girl. It was picked up by the BBC News Channel, News Online and featured on the 1 o'clock and 6 o'clock news. After hearing this story on air, we knew it needed to be brought to a wider audience. I was in the shower and I noticed that the plug was getting a little bit too full of hair too fast and there was hair down my back and things and there was hair being left in the towel and I didn't sort of believe it I thought maybe I was dreaming or it wasn't a reality I sort of tried to brush it under the carpet in my mind and then one day a little bit more came out than normal in my towel when I was when I was drying my hair and I went and I sat down and I sifted through my hair because I knew it, it wasn't feeling right. It felt thin and something was wrong. There was no way that this was going to be happening without it starting to show somewhere. So I sifted through the, both sides of my head and under the right side I found a patch about the size of my fist. And I just sat there. I remember it now. I was sat there on the end of my bed in my dressing gown looking in the mirror thinking, this isn't real, this isn't happening. The whole three-minute piece, unedited, led the Victoria Derbyshire show the following day. With the constraints on broadcasting rights, we wanted to tell the fans' story of what sport means to them. And the ball is charged down. He's on it, can he go over? He can go over, it's a try for Bristol! The forwards pick and go, penalty advantage, the ball's down, Matthew Clay yeah. raises his fist, it's a try to Bristol, 16,000 people on their feet, it's a huge sign of relief here. West of England news correspondent John Kay came to us with a story from the Bristol Old Vic, showing us how thunder was made in theatres in the 1800s. This was a local story with an international audience. Most engagement on this post came from North America. That's very good, isn't it? When the world stood still to remember the victims of the shootings of a gay nightclub in Orlando, so did BBC Radio Bristol. We broadcast using Facebook Live from within the crowd of thousands of people gathered for a vigil on College Green in Bristol. Good evening, we're here live at College Green in Bristol, right next to Bristol Cathedral and City Hall for the LGBT vigil. In memory of the victims of that attack in Orlando at the weekend. And starting, if we may, uh, with the Mayor of Bristol, Marvin Rees. Marvin, a really important event um, for Bristol today, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's, it's very important that we, we make a statement about the kind of city we want to be and show our, show our connection and our support for people all around the world who want to just live as equal and, and free. Why is it important for you to come here today to College Green in Bristol? Um, I'm going to get emotional. To support all of my gay friends in America and just 
to try and get some acknowledgement for the gun problem that we have. It's massive and it's not changing and hopefully this time it will. And as an American citizen, seeing all these people turn out here today, how does that make you feel? It's amazing. It's amazing. The Facebook live stream of this event was a massive success on Facebook. We used audio from it on BBC Radio Bristol's breakfast show the next morning and audience members told us they were at the vigil and used our live video to be able to hear what was going on at the front while they were at the back of the crowd. Also, everyone likes food. We took on the national conversation when England played Wales in the Euros, making a fun and shareable video that was used across England and was even shared by our Welsh friends across the Severn Bridge. You're not singing anymore, you're not singing anymore. We tee them and canny ragor, we tee them and canny ragor. We tackled the difficult topic of mental health and male suicide as part of the Pan BBC In The Mind series. When Hollywood actress Maisie Williams found herself in our studios, we took the opportunity to do something different. This off-the-cuff idea required some quick thinking about how we could create a piece of high-impact, extremely shareable content, and we succeeded with this top tip style video. Hi everyone, it's Maisie Williams here. As a victim of cyberbullying, my main piece of advice for anyone going through the same thing would be to switch off the computer or phone and speak to someone real. And if you feel like you're in the position where you have no one to talk to, please visit a website which I found very helpful, www.sevencups.com. There are people there that will help bring you to safety. We've been bold and creative with the way we cover some of our original journalism stories. This poem was sensitively recorded with listener Robin, who suffers with Parkinson's disease. Terminal for Fiona and Maggie. What delight we have had from your magnificent marguerites, their sinuous stems firmly resisted arrangement. The best we could do was an unruly tangle of freshness. Such single-mindedness, that stubborn disorder, we admired. At our kitchen window, grey clouds grazed slowly behind them. But soon, like ours, their heads turned to peer through the window, seeking light. Now, in the darkening storm, the kitchen is filled with their lucent glow, so we bow to them, yearning for more light and some hope.
We also used our digital platforms to cover the funeral of Bristol icon DJ Derek. Identifying the potential of UGC, we shared this with our colleagues at BBC Radio Northampton. Because we're nice like that, and it was of relevance to them too. <laughs> but we don't just need cute puppies and massive breaking stories to make our digital content a huge success. We cover the everyday stuff too, in our own unique way. And we even lead the way in 360 video content too. We're truly innovative when it comes to digital content and we're proud to have grown from just 5,000 likes to over 25,000 in just six months. <laughs>